It's called a makeover. You should try it. Look a little tired yourself there, Gail. Met on the internet, psycho webs. There's only an estimated 97 active serial killers in the country today, so Mickey here was quite a find. Definitely one on the way up. All he needed was a little guidance and nurture. Oh, Mickey, there's not going to be a trial. <laughs> Birds, one stone. Oh. Mickey was a good boy, but my God, that won't blame the movie's motive. Did you buy that for one second? <laughs> Poor boy was completely out of his mind. Then you're not. No, I'm very sane. My motive isn't as 90s as Mickey's. Mine is just good old-fashioned revenge. You killed my son. And now I kill you, and I can't think of anything more rational. No, of course I will. Everything's traceable back to Mickey, including the cop gun he used to kill everybody. But let's just suppose that you had gotten hold of the other cop's gun, and you chased Mickey, and there was a big shootout and a big scuffle, and you shot Mickey, killed Mickey dead. But not before he got off one shot at you. Okay. So, have I covered everything? Are there any questions, any comments? Let them try and track down the second possible killer. Debbie Salt doesn't exist. You're as crazy as your son was. What did you just say? Was that a negative, disparaging remark about my son? About my Billy? No, Billy was a good boy. Billy was perfect. You did a bang-up job, Mrs. Loomis. Not wise to patronize me with a gun, Sydney. Randy spoke poorly of Billy, and I got a little knife happy. <sighs> I was a good mother. You know what makes me sick? I'm sick to death of people saying that it's all the parents' fault. That it all starts with the family. You want to blame someone? Why don't you blame your mother? She's the one who stole my husband and broke up my family. And then you took... My son. You don't know what it is to be a mother. To raise a child. To teach him. And guide him. And abandon him. Isn't Mickey supposed to be dead? come back.